I'm doing it on a black car for you guys. That's what everybody always wants to see is on a black car. Well, this is it. Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. Today, we are going to be waxing, yes, I said waxing, a black car in 89 degree heat, direct sunlight with Ethos Car Care Liquid Carnuba. Let's do it. So a few weeks ago, Ethos Car Care sent me pretty much their entire product lineup for me to try. It's not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid to make this video. I'm not making any money off the sales of these products. Um, they sent them to me, asked me to try their products out, which is awesome. I love that. Um, one cool thing about this product, if it works good, is for a lot of you guys have always asked me, hey Fab, what can I use? I'm, I live in an apartment, what can I use in direct sunlight? And before, I never had an answer for you. If this works good, this is gonna be your answer for those of you that live in an apartment, that wanna wax your car, you have a house that doesn't have a garage, you wanna wax it out in the sun, this will be the answer if it works good. So we're gonna put it to the test. It does say fortified with premium T1 grade carnauba wax, streak, dust, and smear-free formula. Easy on, easy off formula, safe to use in direct sunlight. And it says it right there. You see the little icon of the sun right there. Creates a durable, dazzling mirror-like finish. And most importantly, than anything else, made in USA. Absolutely love that. Instructions say apply liquid carnauba to a clean and dust-free surface. Apply or spray onto an applicator and apply to the surface in straight line motions, like we always do. Cross hatch patterns, let wax haze, and simply buff away. It does say it's an effortless carnauba wax. I have tried two of their products already. I tried their wheel cleaner. I absolutely loved it, it worked really well. I tried their car shampoo, which is probably the video just before this one. That worked extremely well as, as, as well. And as you can see, that's the finish that's left, left behind. There is no wax on this. If you watch that car, the car shampoo video, I'll put a link up here somewhere. If you go and watch that, you'll see that there's no wax on this. It had bead maker on it uh, six weeks ago and it wore off about a week ago. I haven't had time. We've had nothing but rain. It's finally nice out. It goes from being cold to 90 degrees, 80% humidity. It's absolutely crazy. But the owner of the company, when he sent these products to me, he said, hey, try that liquid carnauba in direct sunlight. It may surprise some people. So I'm thinking, carnauba wax. I was always taught to always make sure my car was in the shade before I do any type of waxing. That's back when it was just basically turtle wax and stuff like that. So it's like, oh man, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous about it, to be honest with you. I mean, it's, and it's a black car because I messaged him today and I said, okay, when I get home from work, I'm going to use your carnauba wax in direct sunlight. It's gonna be close to 90 degrees and it's gonna be on a black car. I said, am I okay to do that? And he said, 100% yes, you will be perfectly fine. And he said, keep me updated. So I'm gonna have to send him a picture here in a little bit once I get done with it. So I'm really, really interested in seeing how well this works in direct sunlight. We will test that out. We'll test out what the panel feels like just as far as slickness. Hopefully I remember to do that. We will definitely do a hydrophobic test on it. And we will probably, let me see really quick, I'm gonna read. Produces shining deep reflections that are protected against oxidation, contaminants, and harmful UV rays, perfect for your daily driver or show car. Um, I'm trying to read the part where it says, okay, here it is. Cause I remember reading it, it says, it can even be applied in direct sunlight with effortless removal um, minutes, hours, or even days later. So we're gonna wax the whole vehicle. I hope I don't regret this because it's, it's going against everything that I ever learned. But let's jump into this video. Let's see if we can wax this in direct sunlight. Okay, let me go around and show you guys really quick. It is clean, if you saw the last video of the car shampoo. Um, I kind of had to use a blow gun, blow the dust off from sitting in my garage. I didn't get a chance to actually do this yesterday, like I said in the car shampoo video, because yesterday was worse than today, and I was tired when I got home. So I, it's, this has been two days since I washed it, but it's sat in the garage. This is not dust that you're seeing. This is how bad the hood is on this Jeep. But I just want to show you what, the guys, what it looks like before. It looks really good. Car shampoo did a great job cleaning it up. It's on the sun side. So this is the side with no sun. I love black paint when it's clean. But let's do a test here. I got my temperature gun out. Let's see how hot this panel is. I can't see my camera, so hopefully. 140 degrees on the hood. 142 on the fender so it is a hot panel 
Brian's a little nervous, to be honest with you. Shouldn't be, because he has told me it's definitely not gonna do anything. So, I will tell you right now that this product does separate. It's sat on my shelf, it's very thin. It does separate, so make sure you give it a really good shaking. Make sure you guys are seeing. Yep, okay. Let's see, I'm telling you right now, it's thin. Yep. Very, very thin, okay. Got a little square. It smells good. Straight line passes. Actually, it smells like a chemical, I'm sorry. If you've ever used Griot's Garage's one-step sealant, that's actually what it smells like. Well, it feels weird because the panel's so hot. We're just doing it. And this, this hood is in bad shape. Look how fast, it, how fast it flashes in direct sunlight. Hopefully the camera picks that up. I mean, it, it flashes really, really fast. I'm probably using too much product, to be honest with you, but it's so thin, it's kind of hard to not squeeze out too much. Well, I am sweating like a stuck pig, you guys. I mean, it's so hot out here. Here's how much I used. Hopefully you guys can see it. Not even a quarter of the bottle. So a um, little bit goes a long way, but it dries really fast. So be prepared for that when you're using it in direct sunlight. It dries fast. Okay, so since I started here has been approximately 20 minutes since I, since I basically did the hood. Uh, we're gonna do a swipe test. Do I need to? Probably not, because it's baked on there. Um, try to see my screen. I'm gonna be using, Ethos did send me two yellow, like plush microfibers. I don't like using plush to remove wax, but they sent me their detail sprints like that. That would be what the plushers are for. So I'm using my Shiny's Edgeless uh, professional microfiber towels. It's only a 300 GSM. I love it for wax and polish removal. Let's just do a swipe test. Holy smokes, that came off easy. You guys, oh, that's crazy. Look at that. Let's just do it one more time, right, camera in hand. Ooh, I'm getting excited now because it's hot. My fingers, my fingertip is freaking hot. I'm doing that. All right, let's do it. <laughs> wow. They weren't lying when they said easy on, easy off. Now, since it did bake in in the sun, I hope you can see like right here. I want to show you. Hopefully the camera picks up There's some dusting. But I mean, what do you expect of a product that's been baking in well the 130 degree panel? I mean that wipes off extremely easy. That's a game changer. That is a game changer. It is a Carnuba, so obviously your life expectancy or durability isn't going to be nearly as long. There's tons of iron on this. My wife works at a John Deere dealership. I just clayed this thing. Oh well. Um, your life expectancy on Carnubas just isn't like what you get out of man-made sealants. But this is absolutely 
It's blowing my mind right now. Mind blown. I know, this goes against everything I was ever taught. Which wasn't much. I basically had to self-teach myself. Before YouTube. Always find a shaded area underneath a tree. Looks like those days are long gone. It does kind of build up a lot in your, in your towel though, so you will be flipping the towel quite a bit. That is dust free. Let me show you right here. It's the best place I can probably show you. I'm not getting any dusting. I don't know what's up with the hood. See that? There's no dusting. Honestly, the hood probably had a bunch of dust on it prior, even though I, I used a blow gun to try to get rid of the dust. Look at that. Zero dusting. It is all off and from start to finish i've got about 40 45 minutes in it i do have another towel with me a clean one just in case we spot stuff walking around because i guarantee there's spots i'm gonna miss i did kind of rush through but i'm telling you it was an absolute breeze to remove no dusting other than that at the very see there's a spot right there no dusting other than what we saw up there earlier i'm not sure what that see this this hood is jacked wish i could get it painted but it's just not worth me doing that um it looks amazing look at this What I'm going to have to do is for the water test, if you can see my driveway up there, the way the sun's hitting the side of my house, I'm going to have to put that hood in that shade. Wait about 15, 20 minutes, let the temperatures come down because I have hard water. I do not want to put hard water spots into the paint. I don't want to bake it in. So just give you guys a heads up there. But I am extremely happy with this. Extremely happy. Back looks great. Here's the side that's in the shade. I'm kind of trying to look as we're walking. See if I see anything. I really don't see anything. Oh, right there. You see that right there? Bam, it's gone. This stuff is just amazing. Okay, so while I was waiting on the panel to cool down, much you guys are gonna see the driveway's wet. I went ahead and cleaned the, the tires and wheels because I didn't do that. If you watched my video, I had tested a, my car shampoo video. I had tested a product before on half the hood. I thought I was gonna clean the whole car with this a water wash and it was absolute garbage. So I ended up washing it and I was losing sunlight so I didn't clean the wheels and tires. So I just now did it. That, I'm gonna explain that, why I just would clean my wheels and tires after waxing. So the panel has cooled to 85 degrees, 89 degrees. Let's get over here in the sun, but we're not gonna hit this. See, we're at 151 right there in the sun. But I pulled this up in the shade just so we could do this water test. All right, let's do it. I'm excited. I'm gonna blow dry it with a uh, compressed air, my air compressor. Uh, I'll show you. Just a little air nozzle there. Blow gun, whatever. All right, let's see what she does. Let's go with a mist first because, once again, people always want me to do a mist. Okay, there's a mist. I'm hoping you guys, yep, you can see that. I'll put you in my hand in a minute. Let's go with a shower. Very uniform. Well, there's some that aren't, but there's some that are, I mean, like perfect circles. So let's try it with a shower. Excellent. I would like to see the beads a little bit more uniform. 
but look how fast that water gets off the paint. It's almost like it's a sheeting type wax. I'll show you up close. See how the water just sheets right off the paint? That is dry to the touch. Let's do it right here on this fender. Get my tires wet that I just got done cleaning. Definitely a sheeting product. What more, what more can you ask for, honestly? Now let's just see. Let's see how easy it is to dry with forced air, compressed air. My compressor might turn on, just to let you know. Pretty easy. I'm gonna take this. Very slick. Feels really good. Yes, you can have a banana. That's exactly what you want when you dry. You want that you want that drying towel to just glide. Just you want it to just glide right across the paint. We have city water here. I do not want to get spots on my window. Windshield. Actually on Mrs. Fab, April's windshield. <laughs> I don't drive this hardly ever. Now let me show you guys why I normally do these water tests and I hurry up and dry it because I missed a spot. I didn't get it here fast enough. I'm gonna hit it with a detail spray off camera. Let me show you. I'm hoping the camera picks up all of that because that was not there until I just did this water test. That's how, that's how hot this panel is. That's why I wanted to get this section cooled down before I did the water test. So, I'm really happy with it. The paint is super, super slick. So we'll go ahead and finish this video. Okay, so I figured I would go ahead and do a quick walk around um, before doing the actual ending. So you guys can see it, I'm really happy with it. No streaking at all. No dusting to have to worry about cleaning up. It looks great. I'll be honest, I was skeptical at first. I really was. I. When they told me I could do it in direct sunlight, I was like, oh man, I don't know. But I'm doing it on a black car for you guys. That's what everybody always wants to see is on a black car. Well, this is it. This is the car to see it on. It looks amazing. Oh, look, I missed some wax right there. I have to go clean that off. And the hood looks great. Reflections are great. Not bad for. Okay, so somebody called me out on this, which is fine. I did pay four hundred dollars for the Jeep, but by the time I rebuilt the engine, puts get a bunch of stuff there. I got eighteen hundred in it, but not bad for less than a two thousand dollars Jeep. How about that? Looks really, really good. Well, there you have it. Those of you that live with fear of waxing your car in the sun, like I have for all these years, no longer do you have to fear. I mean, that's just a stellar product. I'm. Here's what I am. Speechless. It, it, it's just, when I was told I could do it in the sun, I just didn't believe it. It just, it was too hard for me to believe. And I was scared to do it, especially on black paint, but it lived up to exactly what he said it would. The paint looks great. There's no streaks. There's no dusting to worry about. It is easy on. It dries really fast because it was in direct sunlight. Easy on, easy off. The hydrophobics are great. We will definitely do update videos on it. Uh, I may do like I did on my bead maker video and I might just make periodic updates, put them all, smash them into one, one clump video to let you know how long the wax actually lasted on the car. This is gonna be a true test for this car, Nuba, because we're getting into the hottest month of the year, which is going to be July. And in Indiana, usually July is anywhere between 85 to, and it can be up to 100 degrees. And the sun's gonna be beating on this thing. It is not garage kept. It is always, always outside in the elements, in the sun. 
So we're gonna find out exactly how long this product lasts. I just can't say enough good things about this product, this Ethos Liquid Carnuba, you guys. Um, there was something else I really wanted to say and I really it is lost, I've lost track of it, you guys. I'm just, I'm really tired, I'm hot. I, did, I worked all day in 92 degree weather in a shop with no air condition. My shirt is filthy. It was nice and clean when I put it on for this video, but I had to wipe my brow a lot because I haven't taken a shower yet. I'm getting ready to do that. I know I'm nasty, right? Um, but I got home and I was like, man, do I really want to make this video? It's still hot out. And I was like, yeah, I want to do it. I want to see if it's really possible to do this. And it absolutely was. It was not a letdown by any means. I'm, I'm just, I'm geeked out about it. I'm excited about it. And then words of Mean Beach Ranch too. I'm super excited about it. You guys, if you have not checked out Ethos Car Care, you need to do so. And if you're gonna buy one product, I would buy this one, especially if you live in a place like an apartment or a house that does not have a garage or any shade you can get into, you can wax your car with confidence with this product. And you guys saw the result, it speaks for itself. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you Ethos for sending me this uh, awesome product. I really appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down there. Join the Fab Automotive Detailing family. We call ourselves a family because we love to hang out Saturday nights. We have a good time. We support each other. We support each other's channels. I don't care about not shouting other people's channels out. I will do that without a second thought because we are all in this together. Um, and don't forget, every Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do go live, and I'd like to see each and every one of you there.